Hello everybody. Today we will film a video of a procedure of reducer implantation through a right jugular vein venous approach. I will show you with, together with the help of Dr. Sami Bazan uh, all the steps of the procedures and what tips and tricks uh, during the procedure that should be emphasized in order to get the procedure moving smoothly without any problems and any complications. The reducer kit contains the reducer itself and the delivery system, a 9 French guiding catheter and the Y connector. The reducer is crimped on a dedicated hourglass shaped balloon at the end of the delivery system. The reducer when it is crimped it is 25 millimeters in its length and there are three visible metal markers one distal marker at the distal end of the reducer, a proximal marker at the proximal end of the reducer, and a very proximal marker, which we use to mark to where to withdraw the guiding catheter before inflation. Withdrawing the guiding catheter to this very proximal marker will allow the balloon to inflate properly and to the final diameter uh, needed. When the balloon is fully inflated, in this case to four atmospheres, the reducer gets its final hourglass shape. As you can see, the guiding catheter is now withdrawn all the way to the most proximal marker, allowing the balloon to get to its final shape. When the reducer is inflated, the length of the reducer is shortened a little bit to 22 millimeters only. So the guiding catheter is withdrawn to the most proximal marker, the balloon is inflated to four atmospheres, and the reducer now gets its final hourglass shape with the center narrowing is three millimeters exactly. When the reducer within the guiding catheter is located at the uh, desired site of implantation, what we do, we keep the reducer in place and we withdraw the guiding catheter slowly until it reaches the most proximal marker. Now when the reducer is exposed and it is properly located at the site in which we want to implant, both three markers out, are outside the guiding catheter, we can inflate the reducer to the proper sizing. Before we start, I want to show you what I have prepared on the table. Uh, bef before we start with the first stage, which is sticking the jugular vein. So what I have on the table is a syringe with lidocaine, a step up in reducer sheath, starting with a micropuncture, going up to a 6 French sheath and to a 9 French sheath. I have a diagnostic 6 French multipurpose catheter. It can be either multipurpose 1 or 2. I have a long J wire. I have an indeflator and a three-way stopcock. I also have a bucket with pure contrast and a 10 ml lure lock syringe and a bucket with heparanized saline. Dr. Sami Bazan is going to puncture the jugular vein uh, guided by ultrasound. Mm. We start with a micropuncture. We have the micropuncture wire in and we are going to put the micropuncture sheath in. The next step is getting the O35 J wire in six French sheath in Thank you. 
Okay. Now that we have the six French sheath in, we exchange this to a nine French sheath. A little fast. We flush the sheath and we make a suture to fix it. Now that we have the nine French sheath in, we are ready to start the procedure.